Okay, hello everybody. Like and subscribe, I guess I'm supposed to say. So what do you do when you have, uh, when you have concrete, a slab that um, isn't level? Where it meets, in this particular case, an area that has a crawl space. And, uh, and for some reason in this portion of the slab, when it was originally poured, it went up pretty steep right here. And so there was definitely a peak on the original forms. And then uh, due to some settling, this had settled some, which has been lifted most of the way back, but it still suffered from this crown right here. And uh, so how do we deal with this? This was the hard part. This was belt sanded after, but the tool was that. Okay, a two foot level. You lay a two foot level on it to just keep rocking back and forth, looking for your high spots. That's how you dial it in. Um, and, but most importantly was a setup, plastic, plastic in this area, a towel under the door. And then this is the cool nifty addition right here is this came from what department? Uh, goodness. It came from the big orange store and it's 20 feet long and you can tape it to the exhaust on your shop vac. And stuff it out a window. Here we used a piece of styrofoam, which worked out beautifully with a little plastic seal. Um, and that just blew all that dust right out. So we, we just were never, never swimming in a dust cloud. This also came from the orange store and it worked remarkably well. Uh, and then the little cover here pops out to get you right up to the edge. And, and uh, I think we took it down pretty close to 3 16 of an inch right here. And the difference is just unreal. Uh, I really gotta say, this was always an obvious um, problem in the past with the tile that was in here. You always sensed it, and uh, and now you can just walk right across it and feel feel um, feel nothing. Okay, everybody, hope that helps you. Patience, patience, and remember, rock your two footer wherever it's rocking. Keep your sharpie handy if you want. And, uh, and look for the, you know, just make it consistent, turn your, turn your level different directions, look for your high spots. And it's just kind of a, a little bit of a tedious process. Look at the big picture too, walk around the whole area. If there's any other bumps, you could deal, dial those in also. Uh, yeah, got right up to the wall. We still need a few nails on this now that we've ground them off. So take care of that before the flooring goes in. Take care, everybody. And there's subfloor for the record underneath this.